serve dinner and drinks during the jam and dress as casual. Stay tuned as Channel 10's Guide to Entertainment continues. You know that feeling when a concert performance is so good, so intense that you just hate to see it end? Well, in Montreux, it never does. The Blues Brothers have just finished a standing room only performance in Montreux's main hall. And now, less than an hour later, they're in this small club giving the listeners more. Brother are cult here, you know. Everywhere you go, you see people dressed up like Blues Brothers, and they know all the songs word for word. It's great. It's six o'clock in the morning. The main concert hall has been closed for hours, and yet the jam fans in Montreux are still jamming. You know, in this kind of concert here, you can never find somewhere else in the world. Only here in Montreux, you can find this, and that's why I have to stay up there. find that the people here, you know, travel from all over Switzerland or Europe to come to the festival, and so they're really, if you'll excuse the pun, jazzed up. It's just music that I discovered when I was a kid. I was six, seven years old. I was, I was playing all 78 shellac records, not knowing what they were, putting stars on them with a pencil. And later on, I discovered that the one with the three stars, which were the top of my favorite, were Louis Armstrong, Ellington, and Daisy. Europeans are exposed to complex music like jazz from a young age. This youth jazz orchestra from England practices during the week and on Sundays to achieve their big band sound. Jazz is a part of the school's curriculum. Philadelphian Michael Merritt plays guitar for blues great Johnny Johnson. He's performed in Europe for more than a decade, and he has a theory as to why Europeans are so fond of music, so foreign to their shores. I've been on the radio in every single country I've been in. It's amazing, the variety. And you can tell if you grow up here and you, you get that kind of exposure to music, you're much more open to different forms of music. Not to say rock doesn't have a place in Montreux. In fact, you could say rock put Montreux on the map. Who can forget the rock classic Smoke on the Water? But did you know the Deep Purple tune was actually about Montreux, Switzerland? When halfway through a Frank Zappa show, the festival's concert hall burned to the ground. Montreux has inspired much music over the years, thanks to this man, Claude Knob. The festival was his idea. The, the idea is to actually bring and make aware, give an awareness to the young kids that there is an important part of music which is called jazz, and this important part of music is mainly black music from America. So this is the bunker. This is the library where all the music... Knob's music kept. library is a testament to his love of jazz. Nicknamed the bunker, it takes up the entire lower level of his home. There are 1,500 hours of tape performances, 5,000 CDs, and 50,000 albums. You can't name an artist that's not in this collection, including, of course, Philadelphia great John Coltrane, one of Knob's favorites. I only met him once at Newport, and fortunately he died too early to come to play the Monkey Jazz Festival. Jazz is just a part of the Montreux experience. There's a different theme each night, and because the music brings people here from all over the world, we shouldn't have been surprised to run into some of the young South African actresses from the hit play Serafina. They had performed in Montreux the night before and have a message for viewers in the Delaware Valley. Time out, Woo! 